Welcome to this edition of Ethical Sustainable Investment News and Analysis to Profit By. I'm Ron Robbins, an ethical investing pioneer for over 40 years, quoted in the Wall Street Journal, Market Watch, the Globe and Mail, and numerous other media, and founder of the highly respected global ethical sustainable investing information website, Investing for the Soul. And please listen to my disclosure disclaimer statement at the end of this podcast. Now enjoy this podcast. Hello, Ron Robbins here. Well, we've reached a milestone. Welcome to podcast episode 100 and published on February 24th, 2023, titled The Most Sustainable Banks. Plus, it's presented by Investing for the Soul. Investingforthesoul.com is your site for vital global ethical and sustainable investing mentoring, news, commentary, information, and resources. Remember that you can find a full transcript and links to content, including stock symbols and bonus material, on this episode's podcast page located at investingforthesoul.com forward slash podcasts. Now, if any terms are unfamiliar to you, simply Google them. Also, a reminder, I do not evaluate any of the stocks or funds mentioned in these podcasts, nor do I receive any compensation from anyone covered in these podcasts. Furthermore, I will reveal to you any personal investments I have in the investments mentioned herein. Additionally, quotes about individual companies are brief so that I can get as many companies covered as possible in the time allowed. Please go to this podcast's webpage for links to the actual articles for more company and stock information. Also, some companies might be covered more than once, and there are also nine article links below that time didn't allow me to review here. I'm beginning this podcast with a unique review of the sustainable banking industry. The article is titled, The Top 10 Most Sustainable Banks in the World in 2023. It's by Joanna England and was found on fintechmagazine.com. Here are some quotes from the article. Sustainable banking refers to financial institutions that prioritize environmental, social and governance factors in their operations and investments. Here is a list of some of the top sustainable banks in the world based on various sustainability rankings and assessments. Number 10, Triodos Bank, Netherlands. It was founded in 1980 and operates in multiple countries across Europe. Triodos Bank is known for its focus on ethical and sustainable finance, investing in projects and organizations that have a positive social, environmental, and cultural impact. 9. Nordea, Sweden, was founded in 2003 and is one of the largest banks in the Nordic and Baltic regions. The bank serves over 11 million customers. Nordea is known for its strong focus on digital innovation and sustainability. 8. Rabobank, also Netherlands, was founded in 1898. Rabobank operates as a cooperative and provides a wide range of banking services to individuals, small businesses and large corporations. The bank is known for its focus on sustainability and ethical banking practices and has a strong reputation for serving the needs of rural and agricultural communities. 7. BNP Paribas, France 
is a French multinational bank and financial services company. BNP Paribas is one of the largest banks in the world by total assets. BNP Paribas operates in over 70 countries. The bank has a reputation for its expertise in investment banking and its focus on sustainability and social responsibility. And number six, Credit Agricole, also France, founded in 1894. Credit Agricole is one of the largest banking groups in France and one of the largest retail banking networks in Europe. Credit Agricole is known for its focus on sustainability and corporate social responsibility. And five, DBS Bank Singapore was established in 1968 and is the largest bank in Southeast Asia by assets. The bank has a strong digital presence and is known for its focus on innovation and sustainability. DBS Bank operates in several markets, including Singapore, Hong Kong, China, Taiwan and India, and serves a diverse range of customers. 4. Swedbank, again Sweden, is a leading Nordic Baltic banking and financial services group. It was founded in 1820. The bank serves over 7 million customers in Sweden, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. Swedbank is known for its strong digital presence and its focus on sustainability and corporate social responsibility. 3. Standard Chartered UK. The bank has set sustainability targets such as reducing carbon emissions, financing renewable energy projects and promoting diversity and inclusion. Standard Chartered also offers sustainable finance solutions. Additionally, the bank conducts sustainability risk assessments for its lending activities and works with clients to integrate sustainability considerations into their business strategies. 2. Ing Bank, Netherlands. Ing Bank has set ambitious targets to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions, promote energy efficiency, and move to a more sustainable workplace. Ing Bank offers a range of sustainable finance solutions, including green bonds and loans, as well as advice and support to clients seeking to transition to a low-carbon economy. Number 1. KFW Germany is a German development bank that is known for its focus on sustainable finance. KFW's focus on sustainable finance has made it a leader in promoting environmental and social sustainability in the German and global financial sectors. Editors note, the entries on this list are not placed in order of products, services or size of customer bases, but are, at the time of publication, the current leaders globally in sustainable banking practices. End quotes. Now we turn again to the green energy sector. We start with this article titled Three Best Renewable Energy Stocks to Buy for February 2023. It's by Vandita Jadehia for Investor Place and found on InvestorObserver.com. Here are some quotes by Ms. Jadehia on each of her picks. 1. Plug Power At the top of my list is Plug Power, which remains one of the best hydrogen stocks to own this month. The company is engaged in the development of hydrogen fuel cell systems that replaces conventional batteries. When it comes to fundamentals, Plug Power has a few vulnerabilities and hasn't been able to beat earnings per share projections over the past year due to supply chain challenges when launching new products. It expects a growth of 45-50% to this year as compared to the expectations of 80%.
Plug recently announced a strategic partnership with Johnson Matthey, or JM, where JM will supply membranes and catalysts and will help Plug in hitting the targeted revenue of $5 billion by 2026 and $30 billion by 2030. Both companies are expected to co-invest in the largest CCM manufacturing facility in the world, which will begin production in 2025. Plug is a potential leader in a hot new industry, but expects the stock to take time to pick pace. 2. Levent Corp. The next on the list is a lithium stock, Levent. Lithium ion batteries power electric vehicles, and this is where the company could win. Levent Corporation is already a global player in the market and has six manufacturing facilities across the world. It is taking big strides to increase production across China, Argentina, and Canada. The company already has a long-term supply agreement with General Motors to deliver lithium hydroxide starting in 2025. It has sound fundamentals and the company managed to beat earnings per share estimates for the last four quarters despite the market turmoil. In the last quarter, it reported revenue of $231.6 million, up 124% from the same quarter the previous year. It was upgraded to buy from underperform at Bank of America last month with a price target of $26. 3. Next Era Energy is the world's largest renewable energy company as engaged in the production of electricity from renewable sources and the sale of electric energy across Florida. It is also involved in green hydrogen, which will continue to play a huge role in the transition towards renewable energy and decarbonizing the industrial areas. Next Era stock is a solid dividend play. Since the demand for electricity does not change too much, the company remains insulated, which makes Next Era one of the best renewable energy stocks to buy. End quotes. My next article in the energy space is this one titled ESG Penny Stocks. Every investor should know about, and in the brackets he has VKIN, SPI, SAENF, and HYSR. These are obviously company symbols. It's by Capital Gains Report and found on Yahoo.com. Here's some of what they have to say about the stock picks. By investing in smaller ESG stocks, investors can potentially get in on the ground floor of a promising company and benefit from its growth over time. Starting with number one, Viking Energy Group Inc. is a small yet promising player in the ESG space. The company's stock is currently trading at an attractive price. Viking provides customized energy and power solutions to commercial and industrial clients in North America and holds interest in oil and natural gas assets in the United States through a number of subsidiaries in which it holds a majority stake. The technologies covered by Viking range from carbon capture to green biodiesel production. Viking should be at the top of any astute investor's wish list for ESG stocks in 2023. 2. SPI Energy Co. Limited is a global renewable energy company and provider of solar storage and electric vehicle solutions that was founded in 2006 in California. The company has three core divisions, Solar Juice, which has solar wholesale distribution, as well as residential solar and roofing installation and solar module manufacturing. SPI Solar and Orange Power, 
which operates a commercial and utility solar division, and the Edison Future Phoenix Motor EV division. Recently, SPI announced we are confident we will deliver between $29 million and $36 million net income for the fiscal year 2023, said Feng Peng, chairman and CEO of SPI Energy. 3. Solar Alliance Energy Company primarily focuses on development, engineering, procurement and construction of commercial and industrial solar projects and residential solar installations in Tennessee, Kentucky, Illinois, North and South Carolina. Solar Alliance Energy also offers electric vehicle charger installation services and backup generator, home inspection, commercial generator, renewable radar, utility scale power, commercial electric vehicle charging and data center solutions. Last week, the company announced they had signed a contract for the design, engineering and construction of an 872 kilowatt commercial solar project for a manufacturing company in Tennessee. 4. Sun Hydrogen Inc. engages in the development and marketing of solar-powered nanoparticle systems that mimics photosynthesis to separate hydrogen from water. Last week, Sun Hydrogen shared an image of the largest version to date of its nanoparticle-based green hydrogen technology. The prototype in the photo is currently the only self-contained nanoparticle-based hydrogen generation device of its kind that splits water molecules into high-purity green hydrogen and oxygen using the sun's energy. This prototype was also designed to support 24-hour operation even when the sun is not shining. End quotes. Now some other honorable mentions. No particular order. 1. Title. 12 Best Graphite Stocks to Invest in Today on the ImpactInvestor.com site by Impact Investor. 2. Title. Want to invest in renewable energy but don't know how? Try this ETF on 4.com by James Brumley. 3. Title. Two renewable energy stocks to beat Q4 earnings estimates on Nasdaq.com by Abhita Dutta. 4. Title. The top 10 green energy stocks to invest in is by Ravina Joni and found on green.earth.com. 5. Title. Three alternative energy stocks to watch despite lag in hydrogen investment on yahoo.com by, again, Aparita Duta. 6. Title. Here are my picks for the best stocks to invest $5,000 in right now is by Keith Spates on fool.com. 7. Title. Renewable energy stocks remain hot sector in ESG. On yahoo.com by capitalgainsreport.com. Now articles from outside the US. 1. UK. Title. 10 best stock research websites for your investing journey on investingreviews.co.uk by Antonia Medlicott. 2. UK title Renewables. 3 UK stocks offering 5% plus yields. I've bought them all on 4.co.uk by Dr. James Fox. Well, these are my top news stories with the stock and fund tips for this 100th podcast. The most sustainable banks plus now, please be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or wherever you download 
or listen to this podcast that helps bring these podcasts to others like you. And please click the share buttons to share this podcast with your friends and family. Let's promote ethical and sustainable investing as a force for hope and prosperity in these terribly troubled times. Contact me if you have any questions. Thank you for listening. Talk to you next on March 10th. Bye for now. Learn how to create a simple portfolio reflecting your personal values by taking my one-hour tutorial. Go to investingforthesoul.com forward slash podcasts and click the link in the right-hand column for my DIY Ethical Sustainable Investing Pays tutorial. Now, I'll mention in the podcast if I have any direct interest or holdings in companies or securities I'm talking about. Furthermore, any news, opinions, analysis or other information offered by myself, as well as references and information to or from other external sources in this podcast, is provided as general market information and should not be relied upon and thus does not constitute investment advice. Investors should consult their own licensed investment professional before making investments. Also, I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation any loss of profit, which may arise directly or indirectly from use of or reliance on information in this podcast. Do contact me at ronr at investingforthesoul.com. Signing off, this is Ron Robbins.